Second story. There's a small village in a big mountain chain called the Himalayas. In the town, people had last names that I got referred to objects. Really? Like table. Like Allie Apple and Allie Apple. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you know this one, young <laughs> child, because I told it to you. I'll tell you stories tonight. Oh, Grandma! I'm proud of myself. Are you proud of me, Granny? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope I don't get John fired. <laughs> so do I. I'd be sued, probably. There's a young child named Charlie Cheeseburger. He had a lump on his forehead in the shape of a cheeseburger. Not just a cheeseburger, but a Big Mac. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, everybody else in the town had the problem too. Like, Allie Apple had a backside the shape of an apple. That's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> I've really seen some of them. Yeah, okay. Anyway. She was back. In a bucket. <laughs> and a bucket shaped head. Anyway, in the town lived a gypsy. She was the only one without problems. Well, she had problems. In a different way, but shouldn't have their kind of problems. Um, <laughs> fire. Um, Glow sticks, energy drink. Hey, fire. <laughs> 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 hey, fire. Not good. Get different one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have backup. <laughs> ah. Mountain fresh. Okay. Uh -huh. Anyway, the people would go to the gypsy with their problems. Betty Bucket went to the gypsy, and she said, Please, dear gypsy, please, will you help me have a different shaped head? Because having a bucket head is not fun at all. <clears throat> yes, so, I mean, yes. So, <laughs> Ally Apple went to the gypsy and said, Please, gypsy, please, please let, let me have a normal backside. I don't like an apple bone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is inspired by a true story. <laughs> um, actually, it is a true story. Cough. Um, um, yes. So, <laughs> then Charlie Cheeseburger went. He said, Please, I mean, please, dear Gypsy. I don't like this lump. Please make it something other than a cheeseburger. So, the Gypsy says, I have used up all my magic for the day. If you do me my errands, I might have the energy to fix your lump. So, she gave him a list of things to do. He had to do her grocery shopping. He had to chop down the tallest tree in the forest with the red herring. And... Yeah, so... <laughs> so, Charlie Cheeseburger, he went to the grocery store called... Not grocery store. He went to Walmart. Who? I am deathly scared of Walmart. Hey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, you make sure Walmart wasn't anywhere around you. Know? Walmart. I'm scared of Walmart. Yeah. Seriously. Oh. So, he goes into Walmart. He shivers. He looks around. An old woman greets him as he steps into the creepy building. Hello, Derry. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he walks down the dusty aisles, each step echoing off of the empty walls. Then his heart begins to pound like a lubbed up sound. As we learned in Tech Ed, <laughs> the heart makes a lubbed up sound. So he looked at the very end of the aisle. He saw a kitty litter. Oh my God! He goes faster. He gets scared. He goes faster. He starts running. <laughs> then. Don't make that face at me, young lady. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> my bronchitis. <laughs> my friend has bronchitis. <laughs> but anyway, he grabs the kitty litter and sets off at a exceedingly fast pace to go in a store in public. He grabs random knickknacks off the shelves and stale candy that tastes like it's been in a bowl for a lifetime. Yes. He runs back to the gypsy's house and drops it at her doorstep. She says, 
I told you to buy these things at Target. He says, but there's no Target here. She says, I don't care. And then he goes to the forest with a herring, a red one, a red herring. He picks it up, he whacks the tree, and whacks it, and whacks it. But yeah, that for a it whacks it, and whacks it, and whacks it, so nothing happens. <laughs> Then he gets a normal herring, because the red one won't work. And then he chops down the tree. He drags it to her, and she says, I told you to chop this down with the red herring. You chopped it with a normal, uh... Herring? Yes, a normal <laughs> herring. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> Gypsy, she says... Since you didn't do these things the way I told you to, you will have to wait until tomorrow. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's where I think. I hope. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so they can't see you not, child. You have to say yes or no. Got it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. Um. <laughs> Bad ass. Okay, continue. Okay. Oh, that's dark. Okay. I don't care. That adds to the drama. So. So. Where was I? Um, yes, he goes home. And he thinks about it all night. He thinks, man, I wish that gypsy could have done something about my cheeseburger. So, the next morning, he goes to town and everybody's celebrating. Hallie Apple no longer has an apple bottom. She has a potato bottom. Oh my god. I'm sure her husband knows that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. And Betty Bucket has a shovel-shaped head. She loves that. A shovel-shaped shovel. Okay. Shed. <laughs> okay. Shovel-shaped head. Whoa. I did it. Yes. Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> now, instead of having to go buy a shovel, she just uses her head to dig for worms, dig the graves of the people she killed, I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. uh, that just slipped out, um, yes, so he goes to the gypsy, and the gypsy casts a spell on him, and she says, you have to wait a day for it to go into effect, so Charlie Cheeseburger is very anxious, he sits in his room and bangs his head against the wall all day, bangs, and bangs, and bangs, and even if it's on fire, don't do that, <laughs> <laughs> That's the term headbang. <laughs> um, and then he falls into a deep, 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 deep. <laughs> That's fun. Deep sleep. I'm going to raise my eyebrows every time I say a word. I mean, I'm going <laughs> to. Yes. So, in the morning. <laughs> oh, man! Where's my lighter? Where's my. This is like, found it. Okay. Hold on a second. Hot. Okay. <laughs> yes. So in the morning, he looks in the mirror and guess what his cheeseburger is? What? A potato. It's a normal burger with no cheese and oh double the meat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Charlie Cheeseburgers are very happy. Is that? The end.